Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. Here's a quick update on my, uh, the new Torchmate uh, 4x4 growth uh, plasma. The uh, machine will ship, I think, tomorrow from Nevada, so excited that should come maybe next week. In the meantime, you are looking at the Harbor Freight air dryer that seems to be so popular despite uh, Harbor Freight's reputation for a lot of their products. This has pretty good reviews um, all around the board on Pirate and CNC Zone and elsewhere. So um, got this in and uh, wired up. Um, electrical have not dealt with the um, plumbing yet for the air. Um, and then the other thing that came in today is a Polar Air two-stage, five-horsepower uh, air compressor. I'm really excited for this. It was a much-needed upgrade to the one-and-a-half-horsepower, eight-gallon guy you see down there, which uh, gets hot and tends to spit out a lot of moisture. Um, I've got a lot to learn on this one. It's a much bigger machine, a lot more power, and I want to make sure I optimize the air quality. Um, thinking about plumbing the... Um, air dryer actually between the cylinder pump and the storage tank that way the air is dried before it even gets stored um, but need to do some more research and reading on all of that and then obviously all the plumbing to from the tank to both the uh, plasma as well as the other equipment I use air for and all that good stuff um, I uh, so like I said, got more to do on that, but wanted to give you a quick update on that new two new pieces of equipment, and then I'll show you my last thing. The uh, Motor Guard M60 air filter. I bought this one off Amazon. Seems to be highly recommended. Here's what she looks like. It's um, I think those are half inch NPT in and out. And I bought some extra filters while I'm at it. They look like toilet paper, which is kind of funny. Um, Again, this thing seems to be uh, highly recommended and wasn't actually very expensive relative to some of the other filters and stuff out there on the market. I think I paid the, about um, 80 bucks, maybe for both of these. I can't remember. Anyways, um, haven't figured out exactly where I'm going to plumb this in yet to the system, but um, the goal here is to get nice, clean, dry air for the plasma and uh, get good edge quality. That's all for now. Thanks, folks.